Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's keep up with our analysis of the gold market. Well, yesterday actually it was perfect uh, execution. So gold has followed to the setup that we discussed and even have exceeded our expectations. So we, well, considered actually that market could return back to the 18 even area, but we thought that might be a bit slower, not as fast as it has happened recently. So uh, in the weekend, if you remember, we talked a lot about the background on the gold market, on its sentiment, just because uh, those of you who read our vehicle reports, you probably remember that the major, um, well, the stunning news for the gold was about the uh, net long position that have increased just within one week for 10% approximately. So, so that was a great and a very solid boost of the bullish positions on the gold market without, without any visible reason. So nothing actually was going on there and uh, no particular news on the gold market. Uh, on the Fed, everything stands clear and you can see that they actually haven't said anything new. Mostly everything background stands the same, but somehow it was really big boost on the gold market. And uh, we said that we do not know yet how it could happen and what the result might be, but it theoretically could start to change the shape of the price action uh, in the medium term perspective. And you can see recent performance stands absolutely different in the gold market compares to uh, even to the currencies. So if you take a look at the Australian dollar and the euro currency, even on the Great British Pound, all, are, all currencies are dropping currently and all of them are trading against the same United States dollar. But on the gold market, you can see that absolutely, absolutely different performance. So we will keep going. We will keep watching what's going on. Also, of course, we will take in-depth view as usual on the gold market this weekend. And it's really might be interesting. And in, uh, well, we will see what the dynamic stand currently with the sentiment and overall position on the gold market. But currently, you could see that the performance stands, uh, stands good. But this upward action recently market has formed the Polish engulfing. And even based on this pattern, theoretically, uh, this market has good chance to show upper continuation. Maybe it will not be the breakout of the tri triangle that we have on the weekly chart of this border, right? But based on even on this engulfing, it really has chances to at least uh, reach the opposite border around 1815 area, maybe. Uh, so this is something that we will consider in the nearest term. Today, again, we will get the non-farm powers release that could make impact on the market, but it's a bit later about this moment. So on the interest rates, the pattern that we discussed yesterday also has been formed. So yesterday we, saw, we thought that market may, maybe will climb slightly higher to complete the right arm and take a look. The reversal has happened really fast. And here market almost has, has formed the bearish reversal candle. So the top of the right arm has been formed very fast and it has, it has dropped. So that also increased chance that maybe we'll get this ABCD retracement uh, that in turn could let gold fill its freely and also could climb a bit higher. So at least this will be the supportive moment for gold market. Now, if we'll take a look at the intraday charts. So first, let's start from the hourly chart because here you could see the performance of our setup recently. So we thought that might be the free drive. Uh, and uh, at this moment, we said that just trying to catch the minor pullback here for position taking. So because it might be some kind of the ABCD patient. Our minimum target was to the, to the confluence. If you remember 1782 harmonic swing, we said, well, maybe gold will start climbing to this area. Uh, but potentially it might be uh, the 18 even because this is actually the target of the free drive. So the minimum target of the free drive is a top between the second and third drive. And now as you can see, it has been completed. Market has completed the XOP with this ABCD passion, right? So tactical target has been done here. And it stands in relative agreement with the major 618 level. Not quite agreement because difference here is approximately $6 per country, but uh, well, it's relatively close. 
Now, uh, when do not consider taking the short position, but it's not forbidden. So if you're scalp trader trading on uh, lower time frames, well, you could try to catch your some passion. Maybe it will be garbage cheap or two. Uh, also, I'd not exclude that this will be the butterfly uh, because of the another XOP that we have. So I'm using usually for our reduction, let's call it as a real XOP. So because a point stands in the, in the, in the point at the moment where the upper reduction directly started. But if you're, this is useful for position closing, just because it lets you to close a bit earlier with the major XOP has been reached. So that has happened. But potentially we also have absolute XOP right from this point and it stands slightly higher. So uh, from that standpoint, market could, well, it's not achieving by, uh, well, uh, at, at, uh, uh, always. So sometimes market hasn't reached uh, the, this absolute level and turning a bit earlier. But we do not know in advance whether this will happen or not. So because actually this XOP also could be reached and that could change the shape of the reversal pattern. So it might be the butterfly is minor butterfly, or if it will not be reached, that's what could be the regardless cheaper to sell. So I'm just talking about um, these patterns for those of you who are maybe trade on the hourly chart and on the five minute chart. For the, so you could try and you consider and taking maybe some retracement here. Um, but we mostly watching for bullish setups here because overall performance stands great and in a parallel view to interest rates on the fall time from chart, I think that we also could keep an eye on the possible head and shoulders. So once market hits the XOP, it stands near the resistance, maybe on the payrolls, this might be some retracement started. I am drawing it a harmonically equal, but here is theoretically the shoulder might be a bit smaller. It's not always equal. So uh, payrolls is promised to be positive at least if we will compare it to ADP report. So, and that probably should make some uh, retracement impact on the goal, which could become the reason for forming on the right arm. Besides uh, today's Friday and those who are taking part in this rally probably think about the uh, book to result before the weekend. So here's might be the pullback and that might be the right arm. So if it will be uh, really the case, Next week, we consider this passion for maybe taking the long position with a more upper direction somewhere to the 1812, 1815 area. That's among the nearest standing uh, targets that we have currently.